Okay, so what I've got here is a drawing, a fairly basic, basic building. You know, it looks a bit uh, ecclesiastical. I've got uh, two side elevations. That's these two. I've got two end elevations. I've got trusses for the roof, which fit into these little notches that are going to be cut into the into the walls. Uh, I've got an object to put on the roof that's the right size so it, it comes along this line and there's a bit of an overhang and the white line here is where it's going to bend I'm going to partially cut along there so I can bend the uh, bend the piece of card and the last shape here the larger rectangle is a uh, basically just a base for the model to sit on Okay, so what we what we have to do when when we're laser cutting is is think about the order that things are cut in, and we we generally try to do any any scoring any marks before we do any proper cutting. So I've color coded this according to the way the laser cutter wants things done, and the first thing that's going to be to be done is a, a fairly deep cut along this line. Uh, it's, I don't want that to go all the way through or I'll just end up with two halves of my roof. So that's a deep score. I'm using a white color for this. All these objects can be on the same layer. okay? And we just sort things out by color. So it does make for a, a much easier drawing to do. I've then got red items and these are my kind of drawing detail. So I've got these stonework patterns at the corners these are called coins okay and then a little detail around the windows just picking out the shape of the window so these are going to be a very shallow cut so they will be a quite a weak cut okay then I've got the uh, what I call the first detail cut and these are the these are the more tricky objects the smaller tricky objects they will tend to be inside another object Okay, so the window shapes are inside the wall. The triangles within the trusses, they're inside the shape of the truss. Okay. Okay, and then the last thing to be cut is the very outside edge of the objects. You know, the, the actual shape of the part of the model. So these, these are called, we kind of call these the outer cuts. They get done last. And that means there's no chance that any of this detailed work will get disturbed. Because the laser actually kind of takes away material in a very, very thin line, there's a chance that objects move closer together. So if I zoom in close on here, uh, this is very, very narrow. This is only 50 millimeters. Okay, so in in when it's when it's to to scale on the on the cutter this is very very fine indeed if there was any movement of this object I could end up losing this strut in my trusses I don't want that to happen so we cut the detail objects first and then free up the outside shapes okay so I've drawn this in a in a drawing called my model and this doesn't know anything about the laser cutter so we can't just take this drawing and try to expect it to, to cut out. It doesn't know anything about the laser cutter and importantly there isn't a pen settings file that it can refer to. There is a, a pen settings file that looks at your layers and looks through the drawing and makes everything a line weight of 0, 0.0 and this is really important if the CTB file isn't active then you will get no cutting whatsoever. Okay, so what we do is we will paste, we'll copy and paste this and drop it into a template file that knows about the laser cutter. Okay, and so firstly we'll just copy this stuff to the clipboard. So shift, control and C at the same time. It's asking me for a base point. It doesn't really matter where the base point is. 
So I just picked a point in the bottom corner there, then grab all the objects, and then press enter to stick those on the clipboard. Okay, now to use a template, you must use the new command. So either use it from the icon up here, or type in new in the command prompt. Okay, I'm going to look for my template files. So you want to take a copy of this, the templates, from the Make Workshop. You'll also find them on Architecture's uh, student shared drive. Okay, so I'm going to use this template, ILS3NM. It's the newer cutter. You have to use the correct template for the machine you're booked on. Very important. So we open the template. Okay, the white area here is the same size as the cutting bed on the machine. Okay, I'm going to go into this viewport. So double click inside and then do shift control V to paste my drawing. Pick a base point. Now make sure that it, this gets exploded. So we X return, pick the object, return. And also check that any layers that you've used are not non-plotting. Okay, so this is draw everything here is drawn on layer zero. You can see the layer hasn't changed at all. Check your layer properties. Make sure that layer is not a non-plotting one. Okay, the only non-plotting layer in this drawing is the viewport. Okay, fundamental, you won't get anything out of the machine if it's on a non-plotting layer. Okay, we haven't set the scale yet. So we come down to the scale utility and I'm going to produce my model at 1 to 100. Okay, if it doesn't fit, you'll need to use two bits of cardboard or wood or whatever it is you're cutting onto. Okay, so we generally set things into the top top uh, left hand corner. This is kind of zero zero as far as the, the laser cutter goes. It starts its movement from here, but it basically works from this corner outwards. Okay, double click outside. You'll see in the template that we've placed the available colors that the, the laser cutter can use. And this is the order that they cut in. Okay, so the, as I said, the first thing we cut is the score here, black. The next cuts are scores again for the detail on the roof and the coins, red. Then we've got full powered cuts for the shapes in the truss and the shapes for the windows, green. We're missing out yellow because it's difficult to see it in paper space. Okay, and we're using blue instead. So the final cut for us is a full full powered cut and that's the overall shapes of these objects. Okay, and this is the way you want to to bring the drawing to the make workshop. It wants to be looking like this ready to go. You know, any minutes you waste setting up drawings is eating into your cutting time. So you're best to have it ready to run straight away. Okay, so the critical things are watch out for things on non-plotting layers and make sure you explode the block when you paste it in uh, and fundamentally make sure you're using the correct template nothing's going to work otherwise okay so we'll we'll leave this now and we'll we'll go to the workshop and we have to we have to do that because the uh, I don't have a, a laser cutter uh, where I prepared my drawings and you won't either um, so it's kind of a two-stage operation really. Do your drawing work, set it up as much as you can, and then we do the final setup in the Make workshop where we assign the power levels to these various colors and how they're going to, to operate. Okay, one last thing, watch out in, in AutoCAD. Um, if you use text in your drawing, so we've got a piece of text here. Okay, text will engrave. Okay, so instead of cutting, the machine will go into a side-to-side -side motion, like a bubble jet printer, and reveal that 
shape. Similarly here, this is solid fill hatching. It could also be a polyline with width. They would look the same. These will be engraved. It takes a long time and it's no use for cutting. Okay, so make sure you're using vectors and that by that I mean lines, polylines. Uh, make sure there's no width on those polylines. Um, circles, arcs, you know, all the standard shapes are okay. It's, it's the polylines with width that you have to be careful for. Solid fill hatching and text. Okay, get yourself down to the lap. Okay, one last thing, of course, we need to save this drawing uh, so that it's portable. So we'll do a we'll do a save as, and I'm going to call this. I'm going to save over this drawing. It's my model in the cutter template. So it's ready to be worked on.